No man left behind. It's more than just a mantra for armed service members. And after 63 years, one Korean War veteran is returning to hostile territory to find a fallen comrade. On December 4, 1950, Lieutenant Thomas Hudner Jr. says he had to make one of the hardest decisions of his life by leaving his wingman Jesse Brown in enemy territory. Brown had crashed in North Korea during the height of the Korean War. He was still alive but pinned inside of his plane. When I realized that Jesse's airplane may burst into flame before I could get there, I made a decision to uh, make a, a wheels-up landing crash close enough to his airplane. Hudner was unable to pull Brown from the wreckage, and after a rescue helicopter arrived warning him of possible incoming Chinese troops, his choice was life or death. Hudner left a critically injured Brown in the North Korean mountains, but before leaving, he told him he would return. He knew Brown would be dead before he could. The daring crash landing would eventually earn Hudner the Congressional Medal of Honor, and it's a more historic gesture than you might think. Hudner is white, and Brown was the first African-American Navy aviator. The military had only been integrated for two years at the time. CNN says military officials credit Hudner's story for advancing equality throughout the ranks. And about that return... Hudner stayed true to his word. Six decades have passed and relations between the U.S. and North Korea may be tense as ever, but remarkably North Korea granted Hudner permission to search for his friend. He says he doesn't know if it's likely he will find Brown's body. Navy planes dropped napalm on the wreckage to prevent Brown and his plane from falling into enemy hands. While North Korea is playing up the visit as a chance to potentially improve relations with the U.S., Hudner says his visit is more about closure and being able to pay respects to his fallen friend. For Newsy, I'm Elizabeth Hagedorn.